Pitt was born on May 8, 1899 in the capital city of Vienna in Austria. Ah, my baby. My very own, Frederick August von Hayek. Yes, it is a great honor. I, August von Hayek, am a very pleased man today. And so am I, Lady Felicitas von Hayek. He was born into a very noble and wealthy family. Then, he started to go to school and he loved, loved, loved it. But in 1917, he had to leave school and then roll into World War I. Luckily, by 1918, he returned home and studied law at the University of Vienna. Post-war, he was determined to avoid situations that lead to World War I. After he earned his degree in law, political science and economics, he moved to New York in 1923 and worked part-time. A year later, he returned to Vienna and worked on his theories. He was the student of Friedrich von Weiser. In August 1926, Haig married Helene von Fritsch. They had two children. In 1927, he helped create the Austrian Institute for Business Cycle Research, where him and other professionals discussed economics. After much work, Haig got his first book, Monetary Theory and the Trade Cycle, published in 1929. As he started to become popular, he was invited to join the London School of Economics. He stayed in London for 18 years. Because of him, Austrian theories became known and accepted. But it was the forever ongoing debate between Hayek and John Keynes about the global economic philosophy that he became so well known. Both of them had very different perspectives. An ideal economy does not need to reach its equilibrium and communism and central intervention are the best way. No. An ideal economy lets the natural flow of the market take place without any government intervention. In the ex-debate days, his fight went to ruin because his publication was late and by the time Keynes theory had become popular in Britain and the United States. But in the future, after 1980s, Haig's theory will become more popular and more accepted. In 1938, Haig became a British citizen. In the year 1944, his most famous and most anticipated book was published, The Road to Serfdom. After analyzing Germany in the 1920s to the 1930s, this was his warning to the British to refrain from becoming totalitarian. In 1950, he turned to philosophy and became a professor at University of Chicago and so the Austrian economic schools died with him. Later that year in July, Haig divorced Helen. Two weeks later, Haig married Helene Biggerlich. He kept working hard, and in 1962, he returned to Europe and became a professor at the University of Freiburg in West Germany. During the early 1970s, Haig had stopped publishing and so the Estrin economics were dead. But, when Haig won the Nobel Prize in Economics, everything changed. And this year's Nobel Prize in Economics goes to Mr. Friedrich Hayek. Thank you. After the Nobel Prize, Haig became very popular and was called for lectures and seminars all across the world. In 1980, he was invited and praised by Pope John Paul II. In 1984, Haig was appointed a member of the Order of the Companions of Honor by Queen Elizabeth II because of his expertise in economics. In 1991, George W. Bush awarded him with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, one of the two highest civilian awards. In 1991, Haig wrote his last book, Economic Freedom, in which he stated that ignoring economics will threaten our freedom. Sadly, Von Haig died on 23rd March 1992 in Freiburg, Germany, at the age of 93. He is buried in Vienna, Austria. Friedrich Haig has impacted the world greatly. Some of his famous theories are business cycle theory, pure theory of capital, monetary theory, road to serfdom, and knowledge theory.